Hello adventurers and welcome to another Black Desert Mobile video. This one's going to be a super quick one. This is really just going to be a public service announcement where I wanted to kind of bring to your attention that there is going to be um, some content updates. So as a result, we've kind of been given like a pre-announcement. So I just kind of wanted to show you that, read it to you, and then also give you the link for it just in case you needed it. All of these updates and announcements are on the Black Desert Mobile official Discord. So if you're not on there, make sure that you join so I'm just gonna like pull that up really quickly if you want to see it so this is the black desert mobile discord all of these announcements are on the official channel so for me all I have to do is click this link right here uh, but I already have it pulled up so let's go ahead and let's read that really quickly uh, so this is the early notice regarding content reorganization so greetings adventure this is black desert mobile service department this is an early notice regarding content reorganization that will be applied right after the update maintenance on February 20th so this is gonna be in a month or so so what this is in regards to is the boss rushes ancient ruins and Ayeli's rift most of this stuff you don't really have to do anything but if you kind of want to make the most of your resources or do certain things with it you you are gonna have to like take action before this happens so uh, for boss rushes all entries you have for each boss will be deleted reward chests will be given based on the entries deleted so that's pretty good um, even if you don't use all of your entries you're still going to get the rewards for it all boss stamps and shadow knots in possession will be given as reward chests based on the number of exchanges that they account for all rewards will be given as chests from which you will obtain rewards for difficulty level 99 for hadoom boss rush before the update you're basically getting the max reward for the for the boss rushes i think even if you don't have the max maybe you'll still get them so um if you're like a newer player and you can't get to level 99 hadoom it's probably best you just don't use your passes and just receive the rewards so this is kind of where it gets kind of interesting any special boss rush entries that would have been attained using boss rush entries will not be converted into rewards so what this is basically saying is if you were to use your shadow knots and your boss rushes for Hadoom, uh, whenever you use all of those, you get special boss rush boss rush entries just like as a bonus for it so those are kind of extra uh, this is saying that once it gets converted or once everything gets deleted you won't get those extra entries however any special boss rush entries currently in possession will be given as chests from which you can obtain rewards based on the expected value so you'll still get the rewards for the boss rush entries that you currently have it's just that all of your uh, stamps and shadow knots, whenever you convert them into actual um, actual entries, you won't get those extra special boss rushes. So um, what I would do is just make sure that you convert all of these into um, like attempts. So if you were to go to like boss rush, uh, I'll just kind of show you really quickly. And then what I would do is go ahead and do group pass exchange and then exchange all of them. This will give you all of your extra special boss rush Boss, boss rush entries and um, like you'll still get the rewards for them so just make sure that you you use all of these um, these materials and then you'll you'll pretty much get the best reward uh, but the next thing is all ancient tablets and tangled time will be converted as reward chests proportionate to the materials spent on entries all rewards will be given as chests from which you can get rewards for eternal level three before the update. So all of your rewards are gonna be based on eternal level three. So what they're saying here is, we suggest you note the above and spend all ancient resources before the update. Should you want chaos level rewards and you're able to enter uh, ancient ruins chaos. So this is saying that um, for all of your ancient ruins, so if you go to expedition, go to ruins, you have all of these different difficulties. It's only going to give you the rewards for eternal difficulty three. So that's good. <laughs> However, if you want the rewards for chaos, I would say just go ahead and use chaos. Or if you don't like the rewards for uh, eternal profit level three, you can pick pretty much anything that you want to do uh, to use all of your entries. So me personally, I like to use all of my Tangled Time on First Profit Level 3 just because I think this gives more Cafris than everything else. I know that you can get more rewards from uh, Eternal Profit and from Chaos, but I kind of value the, the Cafris 
higher right now. So just kind of keep that in mind. It's it's not anything like crazy. You're not going to be losing a lot of stuff. It's just how do you want to use these things? And if you want to use them differently than the rewards that you're going to be getting, you should you should use them before February 20th. Then the last thing is Ayeli's Rift. All extra entries for every boss and additional raid scrolls will be deleted. Reward chests will be given based on depleted amount. So this is basically saying it doesn't matter if you if you do it or not, you're going to get the rewards the exact same regardless. But with that being said, that's actually everything that I had for this video. I just wanted to share this with you. I know that um, not a lot of people had... I guess some people had seen it, but not everyone had seen it. So hopefully this helps you out if you hadn't seen this yet. And um, good luck on all of your drops. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.